Hello there, my quilty friends. Joy of Quilting here. Last time I spoke to you, we were I was showing you how I square off my quilts. Today we're going to start getting the binding ready. And the first thing you need to do is to measure around the outer edge of your quilt. So you need to go. You need to measure all the way around the outside edge of your quilt. Whatever it measures, you need to add. Uh, about 10 to 12 inches that's about 30 centimeters so you take that measurement and you cut out strips for your binding right the way i make binding is called uh, a, it's a double binding it's a folded over in half binding and I like to cut strips two and a half inches that's approximately six and a half centimeters so my quilt measured I think it was 64 so I'm gonna need about 74 76 and that's two cuts across uh, my fabric which is 42 inches wide so I'm getting my ruler got that on a straight edge measuring my two and a half inches I have made a video of how to rotary cut if you, if you need further instruction and I'm going to cut my second strip and I'm just going to cut the selvage edges off these strips because they come from complete widths of the fabric you see the selvage there and I cut them off okay there we go and now I'm ready to join these two together and the way I join my strips together is there we go. you put them like a like a T right sides together okay and then I draw a line diagonally. I'd usually use a pencil, but I'm using a pen, so hopefully you can see it. So they've been laid in this T-shape, and you want to make a line from the top corner, see there, down to this corner here. I'm using a shorter ruler to do this. Okay, there's my line. While that's flat on the floor there, I'm going to put two pins in it to hold it okay and then I'm going to stitch across there when I stitched across there this will open up flat so I'll go to the machine now there I'm at the machine and I'm going to stitch down across, uh, down the line now you can use any foot really I'm using the open toe to pleat gaze simply so that hopefully you can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to stitch down that line okay now I've stitched it I can take out those two pins there you go and then I'm going to cut that side of the line I've just stitched approximately a quarter of an inch along Okay. and then I'm going to press it that's okay that's just my pen going on the floor there you go I like to set the, the stitches by pressing as it was stitched and then for this when you open it up now you get this lovely right diagonal seam which I'm going to press open there you go pressed it open turn it over give it a press on the other side and the next stage in this is to fold you bind it in half and press the dry iron 
across the whole length of the binding. And here we go, I've pressed it in half lengthwise, wrong sides together all the way. So that's my bias ready. The reason to do the seam on a diagonal for the join is this. Here's a straight a sample of a straight one. But once you've put that together, you've got a real lump here. There's one, two, three, four pieces of fabric there all on top of each other and when you've put them onto your quilt and then folded it over and brought it round you're going to have loads of uh, layers of fabric by doing it this way see there's there are far fewer layers it gives a neater a neater finish next time we'll actually start putting the binding on bye